click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hey there, welcome back to QuickBooks 2021. My name is Cindy. We are actually at the end of Module 7 now. We've been talking about anything related to banking, and I wanted to end with talking to you about how to reconcile your accounts. You might be familiar with the term balancing your checkbook. Well, that's basically what we're talking about here. You're going to be able to reconcile or balance any of your accounts that have a balance when you're looking in the chart of accounts. You probably won't go in and reconcile all of those accounts, but at least make sure you do all of your bank accounts, your credit cards, and personally, I do my loans as well. Let's go ahead and flip over to QuickBooks and I will show you how to reconcile an account. Before we get started, I wanna take you back to your checking account register, because if you remember, I showed you that we have some transactions in here that already have these check marks in this column. The check mark means those transactions have been reconciled. You wanna be really careful you don't wanna uncheck these, or if you have one that's empty where it has not cleared yet, you wanna make sure that you do not put a check mark next to one of those because that will screw up your reconciliation. I've often seen people reconcile by clicking here and checking these off, and that is not the correct way to do this because you have no idea if you're actually reconciled or not. I'm gonna to go to the home screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on reconcile right over here. The first thing you wanna do is tell QuickBooks which account you're trying to reconcile. And then you wanna make sure your statement date matches your ending date on your bank statement. Typically, your statement date is the end of the month, but there are some statements that cut off in the middle of the month. You also have a beginning balance. Notice you can't change that number. If you reconciled last month, last month's ending number is this month's beginning number. If you know you reconciled last month and this is different when you come in to do this month, then you wanna go back and locate your discrepancies right down here. This will actually run a report and show you anything you changed since you last reconciled. Often what happens is you've unchecked something in the register, or you deleted a transaction that you'd already reconciled. You wanna go ahead and plug in your ending balance. Let's say it's 129,175 and 32 cents. And if you had any service charges and interest, you'd wanna plug those in here as well. As far as service charges go, if you have more than one, you can actually have one number in here, just add them up. You can also put each one individually in the register. That's totally up to you. Just don't put it in both places. If you have a service charge, the correct account to choose is an expense account called bank service charges. If you have any interest you've earned, you wanna make sure that you create an account called interest income and notice the type is other income. And if you're using the class feature, make sure you choose the right class. I'm going to hit continue at the bottom. The way this window is laid out, you'll notice on the left is anything that came out of the bank account. On the right is anything that went into the bank account. Think about deposits and credits on the right and ATM charges, things you paid online, checks, all of that's gonna be on the left-hand side. And your job is to look at the bank statement. If it's on the statement, check it off. If it's not on the statement, don't check it off. This is a great way to go in and see if you missed entering something or if you entered something twice, maybe you put something in with the wrong amount. For example, if this check here was really 656.24, you could double click, go in, make that change and save it. And as soon as you did that, it would be reflected in the register. I typically do my deposits first because there's fewer of them, but you don't have to. You can do this however it works for you. What you wanna do is just check off all of the deposits that are on your bank statement. When you're finished, you'll look at the bottom and it will tell you the number of deposits you have and the total amount. If that number matches what's on the bank statement and later you're out of balance, you know it's not on the deposit side. Keep an eye out for things that look weird. If this is December and you see something in here from July, you obviously need to investigate and get rid of that. Now let's look over on the check side. Checks don't always clear right away. Usually debit card transactions do, anything that's electronically drawn, but checks don't always clear right away. 
you're going to go down the list again and check off everything that cleared. If it didn't clear, don't check it off. So let's say this one did not clear and this one did not. Now you're going to look down at the bottom again. It's going to tell you the total of your checks and you want to make sure that's the same number that's actually on your bank statement. If these two numbers match your bank statement, you should be balanced. But here's how you actually know. If you see this difference over here, it's zero and that's what you want. If it's anything other than zero, you're not balanced. Often what I'll see people do is if they're off a penny or a couple pennies, they'll go ahead and tell QuickBooks to reconcile and make an adjustment. You really should look for that. I'm not going to look six years for a penny, but I am going to look for a little while just to make sure that I didn't miss something. If you're out of balance at all, even a penny, and you try to click on reconcile now, it will tell you you're out of balance and ask if you'd like it to enter an adjustment for you. Do not make it a habit of doing that every month because that is not the correct way to balance. You need to look for your mistakes. I'm going to go ahead and click on Reconcile Now. And it's going to pop up and say, Congratulations, you're reconciled. It's also going to ask if I want to run a couple of reconciliation reports. Now those are listed here. I'll show you what they look like. I'm just going to choose both and choose Display to show you. Notice there's a summary and a detail. This one here is the summary. You can see this right back here. It just tells me the total of the checks that cleared, the total of the deposits, anything uncleared. And if I close that one, the detail shows you every single item that you checked off and then every single item that had not cleared yet. So it's more of a detailed report. It's really up to you if you want to print these. If you ever did lose all of your data for some reason, you'd be really glad you had some of that, especially if you didn't have your bank statements handy. But once that's done, you are reconciled until next month. Now, I do want to go back into Reconcile for a moment and just point out a couple of things. Back under Account, all of these are accounts you could reconcile. You probably want to make sure you do all of your bank accounts, make sure you do your credit cards, and if you want to do your loans just so that you can plug in your interests and things like that, feel free. But at least do your credit cards and your bank accounts here to make sure you're in balance. This video is part of our full QuickBooks 2021 course. Take a look at the course by clicking right over there. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And to see more QuickBooks Pro 2020 videos, go ahead and click over there.